Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and believers of all ages. Uh, yeah. This is Holy Dice Rollers, and we are playing a Christian role-playing game. Okay, a Christian one. I am Storytelling Ron, and these are the actors for today. And we're missing one, but that's okay. We're going to start with these three right now. I'm going to fess up something now, now that you all are here, and I have not told you this. This is a completely new thing I'm doing right now, even as if, even though I've done you know, game mass, being a game master, uh, dungeon master for role playing games for 40 plus years. What I'm about to do is completely different. And I'm like, and you all don't even know what's going on. Okay. I don't. I, in other words, I want the audience to know that, yeah. that you guys don't know what I'm about to do. Look at my face. And neither do I, pretty much. So I'm we're going to figure this out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Keep that face because. <laughs> So I t all I've told you to do is bring a pen and paper or pencil and paper. Hopefully you've got that much. Yes. Okay, good. And I've got I've got some down here as well for me. You don't need to take notes at the moment or anything, but at some point you may we may figure that start doing it. I don't know. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so oh, no more no more prefacing or whatever. Okay, um, no more no word of the day. Just we're just gonna do this. Okay, here we go. Colonel Jenkins and Minister Jeremiah, you all know as old Jerry, walk into the rec room where you all are anxiously trying to relax in the rec room. And old Jerry comes up and looks at you all and you can tell he's, he's definitely emotionally wrought because, you know, you all know what's going on. And, and he's like, Thank you all. Thank you. We want to, we've been praying and you know all the prayers that have been going around with your families and for you all to to do this now. We are just everyone everyone here at the bunker is so grateful. So and we're going to give you one more night before you leave tomorrow. And you all know what's before you. So we've got everything prepared. Um but I just want to go over it again a little bit, just to, for my, my own sake, I guess. So the radiation levels are down now. They're, they're acceptable for you to go out, for us to go out. And it's time. It's been over 100 years. You are the actual first generation do that doesn't even know the, f the fathers in that, that started or that were in this bunker when it was the prison, when it was the prison camp. And when Christians were in prison camps across this North American continent, and when, and when those atheist regimes, those empires left on those rockets and called them, they called them arcs for whatever reason, and then that nuclear war, and everything was wasted, and we, we survived. We survived. The prison camps are the one place, what do you know, that we actually survived. And we, we flourished as families these generations now and now it's time it's time for you all to go out to find survivors to find anyone and that's what we're praying for and you know the commission too we need to we need to bring them the word we need to bring them salvation grace hope to anyone out there we know it's dangerous i know you all you kids call it the wasteland we're calling it a mission field we're ever so grateful that you all decided to do this and have committed your lives to going out there. We know it's dangerous. So um, we're going to be praying for you and we're going to be, you know, having the dinner tonight with, and with your families and making sure that um, we get the Lord and ourselves right with this. Anyway, Colonel Jenkins can tell you a bit more and get you all figured, you know, situated with what's going on. Hello. Okay. Well, you all know the drill, but we're just going to go over it again one last time before you all uh, get with get with Jerry and then the rest of your families and all. So, um, you all have trained, you all are ready, and we'll go. We'll have you guys discuss that with you know with yourselves, and and we're going to give get you over to the surveyor one, your transport, and you can look at everything that the uh, we have fully stocked it with, and you're ready to go. Um, 
but I gotta, I gotta make sure I get this across to you again. Make sure you remember this one. You cannot let anyone know you came from the bunker. You cannot let them, anyone out there. We know their technology before the nuclear war was far greater than what we have here and what's accessible at the camp. So you have to be careful. You cannot let anyone out there know that we exist here. We are safe. We are hidden. The families here are doing what we can, but you can't let anyone out there know. Your, 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 your transport is going to look like a salvaged, dirty, old vehicle. You all are going to look dirty like you're nomads, okay? So make that clear. Get that in your mind. You've got one comm unit to contact us, but you do not contact us for emergencies or because you need help. You're out there on your own. Remember that. The only time you can contact us is if you do establish a Christian church or bastion or settlement that's safe and you can safely return or safely call us to come and help you. But that's it. Okay? So with that, we'll, uh, we'll go over to the garage so you can check out your what we've got supplied. And, um, and one last thing. You know, I know about... I know you all remember you were kids, but those giant ants, we had that infestation of giant ants. Some of them seemed bipedal. And, um, you know, even little Jerry, even his two sons, well, they made it, but they, you know, they, they were great, greatly injured. And we had, um, we had to fight these giant ants off. So you all know that's, that's the level of threat out there. That's the level of possibilities out there. Okay. All right. Let's go to the garage. You can check out the surveyor and your supplies and you all can discuss, you know, what you're going to do, how you're going to be prepared and your training. And... All right. So we'll be doing that. All right. So come on. Okay. So let me just real quick, we're going to pause and then we're going to get you guys into Foundry, get you set up there so you can look at what you got. And then you can talk about each other, talk to each other about who you are, what you've been doing, what you're training as. But I want you to see what, what, what all is there so you know what you need to train for or be ready for, okay? All right, I'm gonna pause the game real quick. So we can get the... Okay, you're recording it. All right, so you guys jumping into the foundry here. That's, oh, there was EB, but lost you back i think there you go mm -hmm. there's grace so there's your cute little transport surveyor one huh what do you guys think huh pretty is this a surprise I'm liking what I see so far. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all what I was expecting. Okay exactly. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So what you see before you is your transport, your little token. Now I don't have a, you know, I don't have a artwork for you because I don't know what you're going to be yet. So you guys are going to decide that. And don't worry about the, the stats or anything about the characters. I'll, I'll start taking notes based on what you say. Okay. So you just, um, but I do want, okay. So Colonel Jenkins, uh, you know, shows you the yeah, up there, you got your 50 cal, you know, you got your, you know, 50 cal machine gun, you got a launcher and you got a, we got stowed away a couple rockets. Okay. Don't know if you'll need it. Hope you don't, but they're there. Um, you know, <laughs> you got, a, you got a little lab. Then, and when you go in the, when you go in the transport in the dirty old garage there, well, the garage is relatively clean, but they made this look dirty. Everything inside those, everything inside the, the chassis, everything is is strong. Okay, it's just the the outer we want to look like it's scavenged, you know, salvage, and um, you're not coming from somewhere established. Um, um, so even <laughs> you still can't move your your tokens around. You're just rotating it. Okay, that's... Oh, go out and get a PC. All right, hurry up. Oh, oh, there you you just moved it. Did you? Yeah, I'm just sideways. <laughs> um. <laughs> So think, think of like, you've got like an RV or a bus, okay, like those I'm, tour buses okay. where you're crowded in. 
the place is crowded. So you've got a little, we, we definitely got you a lab and medical area. We've got you engineering. That'll also, that also has components for refining fuel and some, you know, to make some ammo. So you'll have access to that if you ever run out of bullets or whatever else. Okay. So you can have access to refining fuel out there where if you can find more, make more fuel, um, got controls, comms for the driver, whoever's going to be driving and over here, you guys can see it. This is what's in what you have in stock. All these weapons <laughs> you actually have access to. So if you ever go on your forays, you can stock up on that. Okay. But you need to, you know, write that down. I mean, not at the moment, but, um, but this is what you have access to. You got knife, chainsaw, utility ax, a jackhammer, handgun, shotgun, sniper rifle, flamethrower, mini launcher, grenades, grenades with armor piercing, and a tech bow okay, with your arrows. Um, you also got your regular gear you'll be, you're going to be carrying, depending on what your training is. And there is some armor. You got two of most of them. You got four helms, large shield, padded wear, and plastics. All right. You had me at flamethrower. <laughs> How many, how many of these do we get to pick? I'm sorry. No, no, you don't, you can pick them per outing. This, these are all in oh. your transport, you know? So oh, okay. whenever you, I, whenever you find the location, you can pull out anything if you're in the transport and start using it. But if you guys oh, decide okay. to go out beyond the roadway or past, you know, flatland, you're going to have to, yeah, stock up and write down whatever it is you're going to take with you. And of course you're limited oh. by your burden. So just be aware of that. You know, when you get your character sheet on it, um, which I'll get to you soon enough. Now down here, I'm just, not that you necessarily need to do this right now. We'll see though. Depend, whoever, if anyone, hopefully one of you is, is a clergy, more of a, um, and um, what I'm doing for, um, uh, for the game here, um, for men and women. So be aware of this. Women cannot go above aggression four. So, and that's really for, uh, fighting, physical fighting. You cannot go above aggression four. Men go can go up above aggression four, but women cannot. Hey, Ron, um, Ron, can you excuse me for about five minutes? No, no, I cannot. <laughs> all right, let's pause real quick. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just something to come up. Five minutes. All right. Okay. So yeah, you don't have character sheets right now, so you don't. You, you know, just you just describe what you're going to do, and I'll tell you what you need to roll in the bonuses. But I will get you your character sheets with your traits. However. At this point, so you can see all the gear, you you know, you all are in the transport looking at all the stuff, looking in the shelves, looking in the drawers, and, and just looking at what you're all stocked. And maybe there's a couple of little, you know, guys there or gals helping you see where everything is, little tour guides, you know, and great, you know, grateful. We're so grateful for you all, and, and we're going to be praying for you. And, and you know, uh, maybe they're, you're, maybe one's your brother or sister help, you know, and hugging you every time you turn around. And um, But you guys are... You know, this is your home now. This is your home. Um, okay, so down below. And these sheets, by the way, will I will I, I will even send these these sheets um, out to you as well, so you can print them out if you want to ever just have them handy, um, as as opposed to looking on here. But th but this page will always be accessible to you as well. You can always at the top um, go to it. Okay, and then down here is going to be you know if one of you or t oh I was talking about the women before we left. And men. So yeah, women only have a four or less aggression. Everything else they can have. And, and I'm following, you know, the the Christian belief of men are pastors, um, and and women are not pastors. So if you want to, okay, okay. So, but women can definitely be everything. They can you still use all of these because you're not pastoring a church. You're going out and evangelizing. So you have you have access to all these blessings, miracles, and glories. So, you know, you can use them as well. You can use anything in here. However, you do have the woman's touch, which a men, men just cannot do. Um, cleaning, what? perseverance, me. feigning, mothering. You can't. Well, we can do them. We just don't get any bonuses for it. Trust me. Well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. The bonus. Uh, I, actually, I should get one for cleaning outside. Y yard work. I get the bonus for yard work. That's for sure. It's funny because yeah. when, when the wife goes out, when we're outside, she doesn't she's like there's leaves everywhere. We have a little workout area. There's leaves and dirt. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, and she's all, eh, not a big deal. I'm like, what are you talking about? We're going to get this, you know, inside the house. It's like, she sees all the cobwebs. She sees all the dust bunnies. I'm like, ah, I don't give a, 
<laughs> so, so funny. And it's just like, you know, it hasn't changed over the years. It's the same. I, I go out every day and blow and clean it, clear out the, our workout area. <laughs> and, I'm, and it doesn't bother me, phase me at all, but I cannot go in and, and sweep the dust bunnies. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so yeah, for the blessings, um, we'll figure out if any of you are clergy or not. So when you stop talking, you all, now that I've described the scene, you're in the transport. You know, Colonel Jenkins is sitting there and, you know, maybe at the front where the little scrunched in table where you can eat and, you know, bunk beds are pulled out and he's all, okay, so let's go around and talk about, you know, your training, your history, who's, who's going to be doing what? The floor is yours. I'm really nervous about this. I mean, like, I, I think I trained, but. Now I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm looking at all this stuff that we have and I, I feel like, can I even use it all? And I don't know. I, I think I'm just like, it seems real now. It wasn't real before. And now, now we're here and you know it's real. And I guess I'm, a, I'm I guess I'm a little scared. I know I'm not supposed to say that. I, you know, you, you have nothing to worry about. What, what uh, battalion did you train? Were you in the middle? Do you have military training or do you have? Wait, what type of training do you have? I have military training, but I didn't really do a lot of combat. Um, I don't know. I guess I've got the skills if I need to be in combat, but they're not really tested. But I just felt like I got to. I've got to do this mission. I mean, who? If I don't do it, who else? I can't just say, "Oh, somebody else will do it." Like, I'm hoping God's going to use the the called and and then he'll make me qualified because right now i i don't feel like i'm qualified but i mean we're the only people to go outside and forever it's yeah big responsibility are you guys scared yes <laughs> um remember your training i'm more i'm more afraid of that you all didn't don't remember what type of training you have that's what i'm more afraid of Wait, say it again. Yeah. We're in the waste. We're we're in the wasteland. Here, people. We got to be ready. I mean, it could be anything out there. You know, I know the radiation levels are lower now, but that doesn't mean you still can't get sick. Yeah. What type of training do you have? Are you ready? Do you do you have hand hand combat? Are you a specialty uh, in, in grenades? What do what do you do? That's what we need to know. When we go out here, I'm gonna need somebody to have my back, and I will leave you if I have to. <laughs> Wait, leave or lead? Leave. I would lead you. Lead. Okay. Uh, and I would leave you if I have to. Leave. Yes, okay. if I have to. That's a low spirit right there. Let me say. <laughs> but, uh, but but the, the the deal is, I mean, come on now. We we don't have a choice. We're the last people. We got to get going. We got to we got to go go find out. We got to find out. And I think we'll be fine. We just got to stick together. I'm sorry. I I, I was just presumptuous. On. I'm so sorry. I think we'll be fine. I'm a, I, but I'll tell you what, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my skills. I am a 15 degree black belt. So if it's hand hand combat you need, I got you covered. I did Cooking, more, on the other hand, I'm sorry, cooking uh, is not uh, special. Like, like working, working on tools. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm really pretty, pretty good at that, like fixing things. So that's the oh, kind of mind that I have. Yeah. Like I can repair things. I can fix things. I can take things that don't go together and put them together. So I think there's a term like you're a MacGyver, wherever that came from, but <laughs> like, that's yeah. kind of, that's kind of how I see myself, I guess, but oh, so, so, so you're combat. I'm combat and I have, I'm going to, yes. After you. So we've got some skills. What else? So look at the, um, um, especially here, kind of tells you what what you have in your in your, you know, you got the yeah, you got the engineering, which is like the workshop tools, um, all that. Lab medical is another one, and controls and comms like communications. Controls is driving. Of course, you got 50 cal up on the top, launcher. Grace, don't you have comms experience? 
I do have some. Uh, <laughs> some. <laughs> I do have some. Um, I suppose that's one of the reasons why I wanted to um, come along on this mission. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm scared, but I'm also kind of excited. We get to see outside, and we get to meet the people outside. Um, I think it'll be very exciting to speak to them and see how is life done out there and how how can we relate to them and perhaps get them to see what they are lacking, which is yeah, the Holy Spirit, God in their lives. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm just terrified, but now that we're talking about it, I'm kind of getting excited. Yeah. I know you've studied a lot about how to talk to people that are not, you know, like, like yeah. us. So, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of like cultures and, and different things from the past is very exciting. Um, but now we're going to learn entirely new cultures. We have no idea what it's like out there. So yeah, <laughs> I think See, you're all about come in handy though. What you already know about how to how to communicate with different people, like but that's going to be a big part of what we do. Like how we present this message, we right we, we have to kind of rely on some of your expertise so we don't say something we shouldn't in a way we shouldn't maybe. I think the most important thing just to remember is we're coming alongside them first. Yeah. That's the basic thing, I think. Wait, what do you mean by that? Coming, coming alongside, alongside them. Like, um, you know, learning where they come from, learning their perspective, and then marrying their perspective with ours and trying to see how can we bridge that gap between us. That'll well, be an interesting challenge for sure. Let me make this clear to you. None of them have the gospel. None of them know it. And it was eradicated, except we were allowed to keep it in our prison camps. So anyone out there in my book is going to be dangerous. And I'm all about defense. So I've, I've, I've got the armor, the, tr the truck loaded up with armor. I'm all about defense. So we got to be really cautious. First and foremost, I know you're good at communication, but I don't think we should just run in and say, "Hey, here we are." So right. that's what we, we got to come up with. We got to come up with a game plan. We got to come up with a way to say it, or Strat a way to come up because they, yeah, because they may be hungry. They may try to eat us or something. You know, we don't know. You don't know. I mean, how, how long has it been since they've eaten anything? You know, you, you just can't say. This is all the stuff you run into. But I got some heavy artillery here in case we need to, you know, do what we got to do. We don't want to do it, but in case we do. Got there ready to load it up. Does, does either does either of you know how to cook? And that's not my specialty. That's not my specialty. To, to, to a botanist. Either one of you are botanists. You know what plants to pick. I mean, we got to have somebody that with that experience because I don't know. A little bit. I mean, if we're talking about a an, open, bit. an open fire, then things might get burned. But I mean, they'll, they'll be <laughs> edible, maybe. Yeah. So, so we agree. So none of us know how to cook. I mean, I think we can survive. I mean, I can make sure and we're make not it poisoned. <laughs> yeah, we're already we're already dead. <laughs> well, you'll you you certainly can, uh, you certainly can eat every day normally. But if you wanted cooking to really give you a a benefit, then it sounds like nobody has that. Oh, so we have rations in the storehouse. Okay, yeah, you do I'm have rations. Oh, great. Awesome. Well, we just eat the rations then. Okay. Great. So, uh, is everybody ready? Ready to, <laughs> ready to go out? Or what are we, what are we, we uh, still trying to come up with? Okay, let me ask you this. Um, communicator. What, 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 is, what specifically are you good at communicating? Are you good at communicating the word? Are you good at just talking to people? Are you good at making people relax? How do you, how do you go about doing what you do? Uh, without us being surrounded? Well, I would say I'm very good at communicating the word. Um, I think I'm pretty good at speaking with people in general. Um, 
trying to think of how to define my skill set. I'm probably very good. Uh, maybe a good way to put it is this. I'm very good at relating with people and 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 trying to create a relationship between oh, me and them. okay. I think I'm very good at that. Yeah, that's great. That's what we need. So yeah. You speak multiple languages? Um I I do. I speak several languages. Um Oh wow. Okay. If any of them are in useful out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah you're the your source of information has been through the prison camp library and then what the fathers were able to actually type up or write up or your the homeschooling kids um, in their desperateness to make sure you knew their history of the world, you know, and stuff. But yeah, not certainly not at a level that you would know what's going on now for sure. <clears throat> okay. So we are in agreement that we're not going to just you know, run out and start ninja chopping people. Like <laughs> we're going to use what we have to for defense, but we're it's not only for defense. defense. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Karate is for defense. Yes. Yeah. If we have to defend and we don't know, you know, what level of aggression or anything else that we're going to deal with. So um, we want to lead with, with a good word. And I know when they were, the, this team was being assembled, like, Grace's rep reputation precedes her. Like she is an, she's one of the best communicators. So, I mean, I feel solid Appreciate about that. that. That's going to be huge for us, I think. Well, the, my, my only concern is I've been in a lot of combat situations, hand to hand grenade fights, missile fights. Maybe against the I ants. Still, and I still made it out. And against ants, against uh, just all sorts of stuff I couldn't even name. And I'm still here. What I need to know is, are, are both of you nervous about fighting if you have to? That's what I need to know, because I'm ready. I'm ready right now. As a matter of fact, I'm loading up this gun. I'm cleaning it out. <laughs> this is a um, this is a grenade rocket launcher laser gun. Laser. Okay, you, you point don't the lasers. laser. Yeah, you, you, you point. You can just uh, yeah, yeah. This is pretty accurate. I've got it on 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 point. So you just point it at what you got to point it at. And it's pretty devastating, but I need to know is on those lines, do I have you as my comrades? That's what I need to know. Yeah. I could do it for defense. Yes. Yeah. Not like going to go out looking for a fight, but I mean, if we have to do what we have to do, then we're ready. Yeah. Because if yeah. something happens to us, who else is going to go? I mean, right. That's true. I will say. <clears throat> I'm just glad that each of you definitely trained in one weapon to at least use it. I mean, which weapon is yes. that? Here's the list if you need to look. Flamethrower. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you're a tech. You're, you said you're a technical, so you uh, that makes total sense. You're, you're all like uh, kind of ashen at points, or you know, greasy fingernails. Uh, the gray, the gray work smock, or whatever. Cool, cool. All right, so I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> That's you know that was that was a quick that was resolute so i'm gonna i'm gonna make that even more i learned uh how to use handguns shotguns the the sort of um, shoddy yeah that's what i'm talking about traditional weapons okay. i'm i love history. history i love history and so i loved learning about these these uh the history of these weapons the tradition behind them so yeah, and the shoddy is one of the oldest weapons ever, but most effective. <laughs> wow, yes. Love the shoddy. And since I like heavy armor, my favorite, I, you know, the, the rocket launcher is great. But my favorite is the, the I'm a grenadier. The, it's just the grenade launcher. It's something about it when you launch that grenade, that cloud, that, ah, it's just something about that does it. To me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not focused here. Anyway, got to get back to the matter at hand. So you're saying a grenade, a, a heavy, mini launcher is what your your forte? Yes, yes. Heavy armor, defense, grenadier, you name it. If it's heavy, I, I'll carry it around. I put it on my back if I have to. That's what I do. Okay. And now, well, I'm gonna actually I'll, I'll increase the stock of the grenades from twenty to. I figure you, maybe you'll have like three boxes, so that would be sixty. So I'm gonna increase it to sixty just in case. 
Yeah, and I have atomic grenades also. <laughs> atomic. <Woo-hoo. laughs> Maybe not right. a good idea. Yeah, the radiation's gone down. We don't need more of it. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. But listen, nobody's taking the rations. We have got to live. This is not going to happen. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's somebody that needs them. They're not getting them. Yeah, that's the way I feel about it. Private Sergeant Major. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Grace, we're going to need you to do all the talking. Mm, I can tell. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did, did you know you remind me of someone else from another game I played before? Wow. I don't know. I don't know if you're for me, but yeah. Anyway, 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 Private Sergeant Major General. That's, that's what you call me. That's my name. Okay. Private Sergeant Major General. Yeah. I got you covered. Army guy. I got you covered. Yeah, just all the way. Military man. My whole family was there. My great grandfather, my grandfather, my grandmother. My grandson, everybody <laughs> my grandson. was in the military. They either were a crossing guard, they either were a police or somebody with a badge. Right. Whoever had a badge, security, my whole entire family was enlisted. And I told them, you got to go in there because you got to be ready. Okay. And I told them all that, and I still don't know how to plant vegetables. So that's not the point. <laughs> so we got. Okay. So you guys have figured out, I think this is enough for now, and I'll, I'll get this sheet cleaned up this and awesome. sent to you. But uh, for now, we'll, we'll play and I'll just tell you what to do. Like, if you do anything um but obviously someone's got a flamethrower someone's got a handgun and shotgun and someone's got a mini launcher so that's if if needed if if those are your negotiation tools i don't know but just whatever. and, and oh, yeah, you, you don't want to play fair how about this the, the only armor is plastics that you have and padded wear so oh my god so but you know tech uh, like EB's character can start designing a piece of armor that works for her flamethrower or whatever, but obviously it's not there right now, but, um, that's stuff like that. You can mess around with. Okay. Anyway. So you all, you all have your dinner. You all have your prayer with your families. Um, anyone want to just sort of maybe describe any of that just for the fun of it or the emotional sad weight of it? Of not being with our families? Yeah, yeah, before you leave in the morning. I know I always try to have a, a tough exterior, but 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 really, but really it bothers me not having been around my family for years. Uh, so I always say my prayers. Uh I, I always, you know, I, I'm always trying to remain tough, but some days it just gets to me. How about you? For me, I think what what was the hardest was saying bye to my brother because he's younger than me and I don't know I don't know who's going to take care of him so I mean I know I need to go on on this mission but we prayed and we hugged and I just was like I don't really want to leave I understand. Um, I've been taking care of my mom for a while and she can take care of herself, but, um, you know, it, well, that's what she says anyway. Well, she'll be okay when I leave. When's the last time you've seen her? The, this you, morning. Yeah. This is a bunker. You guys are all together. This is a, I gotta get that Matthew across to you that, that you all have been living in this bunker for a hundred years together, and it's in sort of a veil, like a veil of a mountain range. You know, so you've been um, sheltered from the horrors of the wastelands or whatever. <clears throat> so you all are, are oh, so a tight knit never... family or tight knit, you know, community. Gotcha. Okay. We would know so, each other. Yeah. Business. <laughs> When's the last time you seen your mother? Though? I wouldn't know your mother. Though. I saw her this morning when uh, we prayed together and then she sent me off and uh, I came here. I'm ready to go and see what we can do out there. So what did what did your families pray for? My Mine prayed that I would be safe and that we would reach these other people with the truth with with the story of jesus 
Is that what they prayed for you guys? What yeah, did your the only thing? The, the only thing that brought the only thing that brought us to tell you to tell you honest truth was was God. You know, you can do a lot of physical things, you can do a lot of things, but it has to be God's grace. God's grace literally saved us from uh, from the way uh, the world was and leading into where we have been. So it's God's grace. I mean. We're, I'm, I look forward to to setting off into something new, but uh, yeah, definitely. You know, that's the that's the greatest strength that you have is your prayer. I agree with you on that. So my family, my family is close knit in prayer, close knit family, same way we are. You know. My mom prayed that uh, I would be protected and that God would guide me in the wasteland. Yeah. I think if we all are agreed on that, then that's the most important thing. And we, and we will be successful, whatever that looks like. Okay. Then if they, if they don't want prayer, I have a grenade launcher and that will figure some stuff out. All right. I'm going to, so you all are in the mountains. Okay. So you're, you're, you know, safe and, and hidden from the, whatever is going on out there. Um, and I'm going to switch you over to that map so you can see it. And what we're using, or let me just let me just show it to you right now so you can see it and I'll get this sort of set up. So what I'm using is sort of a traditional, oh wait, you don't see it. Loading, you see it? Yes, it's loading now. I think it's loading. I don't even see it on. I don't even see it on my stream, which is really weird. Anyone see it? It's like there's a box loading up on mine, uh, which it's got my name under it, I believe. That's kind of where I am right now. I just see like a black screen with the box. Oh, in my okay. Head. I know what's going on. Don't worry about it. I, I, I got to turn the light on. Okay. I got to turn the light on. I forget the name of my, this game. At least I hope that's the right thing. Yes. Okay. Because I'm using that feature. Okay. Yeah. Now we got it. Okay. So this is the traditional sort of hex crawl. And I'm kind of using the quasi hex crawl. <clears throat> You're in the center hex. You're in the mountains there, hidden away. And you're familiar with the hexes right around you. And they're about 30 miles each. I'm just kind of, you know, whatever, 30 miles. I'm kind of making them. And so you're going to get to choose which which direction you're going to go in. So, so on the top is more mountains. It's a mountain range. And on the right um, here is forests. And there are some, you know, broken up maybe roads going through it. And the, the maps themselves are just generic. They're not, I'm not going to, you know, it's not like I'm revealing anything to you with the map, these maps they're just generic tiles kind of thing on the bottom right here is uh, uh sort of a flat arid wastelands okay and, the, and then south of you are more force as the mountains recede into this area on um, on the bottom here is another wasteland desert arid look and then up here is a wasteland but you know it's got toxic stuff in it toxic scary stuff going on there so you may or may not want to go there <laughs> um, so you all are going to decide <laughs> which direction to go in. And as you know, as you go further and further out, and, you know, more stuff could possibly change or whatever. Okay, so you all are sort of deciding which way you want to go. Guys, I really don't want to go into more <laughs> mountains. Like, that's what we have seen around us for years. <laughs> can we do anything else? Well, let's take a boat on it. Two to one. I'm as long as we don't go into the toxic wasteland. <laughs> go to toxic, toxic. Else but the toxic. What about forest? We could do a forest. Yeah, forest it is because I would lose anyway with the boat. So we'll go to yes. forest. <laughs> <laughs> I just, 
I have no choice. But let me let me say this one thing though. The forest, we we, we you know we, we can't see anything at all. So if there's anybody there to harm us, they could be hiding behind trees and everything. However, on the flat land, even though that's been hit by atomic warfare or whatever it's been hit by, we could actually see what we're running into. Just a little food for thought. That's a good point. Maybe we should start with more flat land just so that we can get our berries. Okay. Um Evie, roll your roll your 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 intellect. You're thinking about this. Or just roll D20, sorry. Wee, wee, wee. Okay, so yeah, I'm not going to give you more information. <laughs> okay, all right. So you guys are going to head out to, you know, you can you almost can see them down in that sort of hazy horizon, um, way out there, you know, to the to the south, um, between these major sort of dark foresty looking patches of the horizon. But you're going into that opening there that opens up into sort of a deserty. Uh, landscape. And you're starting in the morning, um, and you're heading out. And there are there are sort of like those sort of skeletal remains of roads everywhere, you know. So you you do want to stay as much as you can towards those. And your your tra surveyor can handle, you know, plenty of um, bumps and, and 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 potholes or whatever or whatever's going over more than it can, you know, rocks and you know chasms and anything else. So you. You do want to try to stick to those ty types of roads or pathways as you're traveling along. And you do know that if you do want to go explore, you're probably going to have to go get out of your transport and go walking. Okay. Cause you don't want to drive that into um, those the rough areas. Okay. Or sand trap. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. You know, we got to be careful. All right. So you guys are going into the arid area. So uh, I'm this, I'm, I'm okay. I'm thinking I got to remember what I'm doing. All right. The first thing is you're traveling along and you're getting used. Who's driving, by the way? Matthew. <laughs> yes. Matthew, yes, uh, definitely. definitely. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because we don't want him <laughs> as a side seat driver by any means. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm hey, doing hey, a... Can, hey. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I, can I ask one of you to hang on the side of the vehicle uh, and, and be the surveyor. Uh, if that's, if it, if you, on know, the you surveyor. Really like to do this. Yeah. Would you, yeah. Would you, would you want to, you know, just look out be on the, uh, the outlook to see if you see anything since there's a lot of dust in these flatlands. I mean, maybe, you know, you can get a better view on the outside of you. You can, we that, do have that option. You can, you can go, have that option. you can go up to the top of the bus and there's sort of a, um, there's sort of like a turrety area where the gun is, although, the, yeah, gun, the yeah. gun's kind of hidden, but you guys can climb up there and, and take a look as you're driving. You know, it's pretty windy. You probably wear some goggles, but um. So, so which one? I'm driving. So, which one do you want us to go up there? We got two in the bottom, one in the top. And I'm gonna I'm gonna step in with the uh, EB. You're gonna probably want to just keep looking at all the supplies. You're the technical person, so as he's driving, you're still going through things. You're, you're stocking your marking whatever you know your busy body with everything that's in there and i'll make you i'm gonna have you do a roll here in a sec so we have someone mm -hmm. left over so then i can go <laughs> I, I can i can go and uh i can be a lookout um since Thank you. he seems Thank you. Uh, busy taking stock of things okay would you say grace or yeah at your, your character as you get up there um, just in your own mind, are you, are you more of this, you know, the, the academic type or were you more of just an observant type in your, in your, you know, studies in your way you're doing things or how you, your methodology, were you more academic or were you just more of a, of, of a, a feel for it and perception person? I or would say studious? I'm probably more of an observant person because I'm more of a people person as opposed to academic. Perfect. Right. Exactly what I wanted to know. Okay, good. All right. So we, we've, we've never been outside. Correct? Yeah, this is all new. You're coming out of the mountains, coming down, down these roads. Oh yeah. We're going to do a little wow, drive, okay. a little drive test for you. If you fail, you're going to, 
hit a hit a tree, hit a rock, you know, just because even though you've driven around the bunker and you guys have gone a little bit out every now and, <laughs> That's and then. That's what I was asking. <laughs> but never, you know, there's a, a certain point where you say, you know, to Marion Pippin, this is as far as I've gone from the Shire, you know, yeah. you know <laughs> that moment where you're like, <gasps> yeah. we know, we oh. know about the area around us. We've just never gone beyond that. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to say though, this is amazing. Like, the, you know, this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, the view is just, you know, I mean, we read about it in books, but this is, you know, it, it couldn't explain exactly what you actually see with your eyes. This is amazing. You all concur? So much space <laughs> is is like it's almost overwhelming. Bunker. Right? Compared to the bunker, like open. It's not. Yeah. It's very strange alien landscape. Yeah, this, this is different, man. Okay, I'm gonna. So yeah, you're coming out. You know, I can see this. I'm gonna. I gotta rescale some stuff. I was gonna put the token in there so you could see it. But there we it's, go. It's too, too. Everything is too small or too big. So I'm gonna just. Uh, let me just try it, just because I feel like I need to put it out there. But I can see everything now. Yeah, this is. There's great. a transport just. <laughs> Scale it down a little. Oh wait a minute! Oh wait! Wait a minute! Did somebody remember to refuel? Oh, that was well. That's my responsibility. Oh my god! I didn't even <laughs> forgot. What was that? Oh my! I didn't refuel. Where half a tank? Where half a tank of fuel? Oh no, god. I have a game mechanic for that. So, so first, let's do your driving. Let's see how good of a driver you are. Um, you know. Man, I'm gonna, I, got, I got this, man. From I'm just gonna give you a regular trial rating of twelve. So you're gonna you're you're using your I'm gonna say aggression. I'm gonna say you have to just be aggressive with with driving. Um or should it be awareness? Defensive driving. Defensive driving. <laughs> That's true. Sure. I'm trying to think awareness or aggression. I feel like it's both, but let's do aware let's do awareness. And you have a th I, I'm I gave you a three, so plus three to your roll. So D twenty. Plus three. Now, is anyone talking to him or telling him anything? Or, I mean, I know you both are probably you know, you're busy in the, in the workshop area or back in all the stocks, and you're up. So go ahead and roll D twenty. No one's talking to him. I'm just making sure that all this equipment works like it's supposed to work. But um, you're doing your little checklist, okay? Yeah, I can hear Grace occasionally, like, like saying, sure. "Looks good." You know, there's a rock in the way. Oh, okay, so from above, you're yelling stuff down to him. Since I was sent up there to observe <laughs> what was happening, yes, I'm. Oh, you know what? Him, Avoid this. That looks weird. Thank you. Yeah, that. Oh, helps okay, yeah. roll that. Roll your awareness. Uh, D twenty plus. I give you two for awareness. So, do you want me to roll all? Not yet. Not yet. Sorry. You will though, but not yet. Roll your awareness plus two. So fourteen. So I'm going to give him a a, a, a D four because twelve is the number I wanted. So. Yeah, you're telling him stuff. Uh, so he gets a D4 to his roll. So your awareness is plus three, Matt, and roll a D20 plus three. Now, what was that you said again? You said it was a rock in the road? <laughs> yeah, see it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I appreciate right it. Off on the left. It looks like it's crumbled onto the road. You might want to, like, try to skirt around that. Exactly. Uh, okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I didn't even see it. <laughs> wow he crashes not destroyed but he's um all right you you two have to save versus getting hurt so roll you're a 12 aggression roll and yeah grace you're at minus two aggression and eb you're at uh one plus one you gotta beat a 12 Oh, that's a D12. Switch it. Switch. Oh, D20? Yeah, D20. Uh, beat a TR12. Trial rating of 12. Roll a D20. Plus one for Grace. I mean, for EB, sorry. So, oof. Grace. Wow. I'm thinking, wow. That's not a good roll. 12. Okay, so plus one. So 13. So, yeah, inside, you know, you grab onto something. Um, you know, some maybe some of, the, on. some of the gear cr crashes down on you, Evie, but or nothing, no injury. Grace, I think you get thrown off the bus. 
Oh, gosh. Because <laughs> you rolled a four. <laughs> now, you're going to get hurt, but not like a horrible, but it's it's not good. Um, so, yeah, Matthew, you crashed. You you avoided the rocks and you hit something else and... <laughs> ah! Um, so, and your your bus is damaged. <laughs> you guys are going under the bus. Guys, it's, oh, God. It's going to take a, it's going to take a, I mean, this is my specialty, but it's going to take a couple hours. Hold on, hold on. It's going to take a couple hours to fix this. I told you to oh, drive around God. the rocks. I, I, I did. I saw them, and then, and then I don't know, it's like a rock jumped out or something. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, I do where, need to I do. I don't even know where that... Sorry. I'm going to do, I need to do your stamina, and so, um, so we're getting your hit points, basically your, your starting hit points is called stamina. So let's do that. Um, for grace, since you're the one right now getting hurt, you're going to roll a D four. That's another thing. Um, women's stamina is less than men's women get D fours, men get D six. So just so you know, unless just you're, huh? Just a, just a D four. Yeah. Just roll a D four. Cause I'm giving your basic stamina right now. So four plus one is five, but your aggression is minus two, so you only have three stamina. So you are fragile, okay? Got it. Yeah, especially after coming out the top of that bus. I mean, I can imagine so. Well, yeah. I'm. She here's. You didn't roll a nat one, so I'm not gonna. All right, four. You're 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 at minus one. You're not dead, but you're. You um, Evie, uh, Matt, or I don't know your names. You know, you guys can come up with names, by the way. For your characters the bus is on its side not a, not side uh leaning you mm -hmm. guys are ye ye yelling you know crash da 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 whatever you're, you guys are saying but you don't hear anything from up above to matthew e what happened eb and matthew yeah, you can you can call me major for short major but, uh, okay what, that's a good what, name what 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 happened what happened is is that i asked precisely if you could go to the top of the bus and if you would listen to me very carefully, you would have known to just, there was a seatbelt up there, but that, <laughs> that's beyond the point now. I'm so sorry you're hurt. Uh, uh, you're me, talking to you, you're talking to, I, I'm, I mean, I'm okay. I, I mean, I, that yeah, didn't tickle, but I mean, I'm okay, but yeah, where you're, you're fine, Grace, but yeah, did, that's what Grace I'm saying. Up but, there with you is Grace up there with you. Grace is outside of the bus somewhere. She's no, she's not in the building. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to leave the bus. We're gonna have to find her because she's hurt somewhere, and we got to go get her. And uh, I, I hate for this to happen, but the bus is inoperable right now. It's gonna take us. It's gonna take me at least two hours. I'll tell you. I'll tell right you how long it's gonna take. Don't worry about it. And it's four. It's four hoses. Okay. And it looks apparently I don't care, I don't care about that. I don't, can't, I don't care. We, ha we have to four find four hoses. Grace. There, listen, there are four hoses. Grace will be fine in a second. Let me see. <laughs> there are four hoses that are busted. If we don't get these hoses, they go to the radiator. If we don't get to fix this bus, will overheat in only a matter of minutes. When we try to get back on this heat out here, it's like it's like one. All right, all right, it's like all right, one all right, all right. out here, man. Let's yeah. Listen. Go ahead, Evie. Do you deal with that. I'm going to look for Grace and see if yeah, she's let's, okay. let's go look for her. Okay, so Grace, right. what's your name and what's your name of your character's name, Grace and Evie? This is so we just stop calling you guys your names. What's your post-apocalyptic okay. name? Both of you, Evie, you too. You got a name? We got Major for Matt. <laughs> All right, well, you can come up with it later. You don't have to come over now. So we'll just keep calling you the same name. But come up with a name when you can. Uh, so, EB, you go out to look for Grace. You see her laying in the grass right there next to the tilted bus. Grace, how bad are you hurt? She's not responding. Grace. Is she okay? Is she okay? No, no. She's not okay. Well, I'm coming out. Where is our medic kit? The medic kit is on the bus, underneath the seat, underneath the okay, passenger. Okay, we have, we, need a, that. we have a lab medical area. Okay, Grace, I want you roll the D20 plus your spirit. And you need to beat 
a 12. Right. Well, your spirit is really high because you, I mean, your spirit is plus four. Well, your spirit and your worry. society are high, so. Don't so worry, D20 worry. she'll be just fine. Okay, you <coughs> wake up. So you're at one stamina. Oh, okay. You beat it, yes. Thank goodness. Oh, no, wait, okay. I take that back. You're not, you You get to roll how much you, you recover. So roll a D4. Oh, wow. Two, so you're at two. Oh, wait, did you go to, you went to negative one? I'm sorry, I, what did I say? Did I say you went to negative one? I think you said. Yes, you I are. Okay, so you're now at one. I got, I got it. I, I got it right here. But you can write it down too in desperation. That's fine. So you're at one. Yeah, you actually, you know, you are. I mean, so think about it. You know, he crashes. You, you, yeah, you were just up there all happy, dappy. And watch out and da da da. And then. I was enjoying myself. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. So, you, and you forgot about the sick, you know, the, the sick, you know, the, uh, the seatbelt type of thing up there. Um, it, it happens. Gosh, it happens. So, cool. it's okay. Though. That was cool. I think. I think that was. This is. This is cool. <laughs> this is. Yeah. This is cool. First okay. Yeah. All right. So, I do like also major um, your assessment of the, the, the vehicle, and um, um, yeah, there will be a need to repair it. I know it like the back of my hand. That's that's what it <laughs> is. This this is my baby. Okay, and, and I, ca you, I call I call it Penelope. I'm going to show you guys real quick on here, and I might change the numbers, but over here. Okay, and we'll and I'll get the game mechanics later on as well. But you hear and these I'm, I think I'm going to change these numbers, but but you have this is what you're going to be running out of or need, needing to find, and so you have four low tech right now. So those low techs can fi fix the hoses and and things like that. So Great. We're, we're going to have EB, her, she's the engineer. She's going to roll to see whether she needs to use any at all, or she needs to use all four of them, or, you know, that's her kind of her role. Um, she's going to try to figure this out, but you need to, so we're going to let you describe the situation now. Let's get back. I want to get back to, to the ground where EB comes out and Grace is getting up, you know, or maybe still laying there. I don't know. Um, and, and major is, you know, probably at the, window or, 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 or whatever what are you guys all right so carry on grace what where does it hurt um <laughs> i'm sorry it's not funny and oh my probably, goodness i mean it's probably hurt everywhere my shoulder yeah doesn't move right um <clears throat> I, let me feel your shoulder i want to see if it's dislocated Yes, please. Uh, that. Yeah, it is. That's not oh going to be. Oh, my goodness. Mm. You major, don't, just. You, you can play that off, but you don't have any major wounds. But because you, you know, but you can still play off that your shoulder hurts for sure. But it won't affect okay. your game. Can you walk? Can you walk back to the. Oh, oh yeah. She's. I, good I to see you walk. doing good, Grace. Good to see you. Yes. You made it out. Maybe next time avoid the sinkhole right next to the road. <laughs> It, it's not that easy driving a, a, a this this a vehicle of this type, you know. It just the, those things happen. But I'm I'm just so ecstatic that you're okay right now. Thank God that you're all right. Thank you, Major Grace. But you're not driving. You're not driving those. So don't even think about it. But yeah, keep talking so just, to Matthew. Um, I'm gonna pop your shoulder back in really quick. So just keep talking to Matthew. Oh my God! And oh, it's not while I'm not while I'm there looking. There it is. Not while I'm looking. Back. Not while I'm looking. Stop. And no. Oh my God. Thank you. I know. I know. Oh. I know that hurts. Wait, let's, oh, wait, God. wait. Let's roll that. Let's roll that popping shoulder back in. Roll. Oh, that's no, gonna be an. In oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, just watching that. Oh uh, my goodness. Let's do an aggression roll. An aggression roll. Just, just, just get a just twelve, and, and it's not gonna. Be, yeah, you get a plus one. No, roll it. Sorry, roll a d twenty. D twenty. The twelve is the six plus one seven. So, yeah, you you do something, Grace. You're like, mm, I don't know if that helped or didn't help, but my my shoulder is what it is. You know. Yeah, it's it's workable. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Serviceable. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
So I didn't know. I didn't know you did chiropractic, uh, 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 Doctor uh, Evie. I didn't know you did. You were did you did that? Well, I told you I could fix things, so I just <laughs> wow. Well, I guess you <laughs> just proved your point Thank you for fixing me. Yes, yes. All right. That's so gonna... you... Sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> Not, okay. So it's you. So I'm gonna get back to the f fixing the the bus, the, the hoses, the that uh, major described quite well there. Uh, so, what do you do about that? Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna shine this flashlight here. Can you see in there, Evie? Can you see that? Yeah, I see it. And I'm gonna hold this stand and tell me what you can do in there because one of one of us you know, it has to hold the flashlight. I want to see what can you can you repair that? Yeah, I'll tell you what I need is the the tool of all tools, duct tape. <laughs> we, I'm pretty sure you got some. We yeah, we we got some duct tape, but we gotta. I, I mean. This one right here is shredded. So even if we duct tape the other two or three, this one is completely shredded. We, we got to have a complete replacement on this hose. <laughs> now, what I was thinking was taking the fire extinguisher and taking the hose off of that and maybe plugging that in. And would you know how to do that? No, oh, because I found some parts like we're good. We're good on on basic things like that that can easily yeah. you know, need repair. So I, I'll go find a hose. Let me look at it. Okay. You All don't right. want to use the extinguisher okay. hose? I, I know what I'm getting. Yeah. She, she, this is your skill or your trait, technology. Do your thing. So we're going to have you roll. It's a plus five. And actually, I'm going to say this is a, a, a 10 difficulty. So it's not that. It's an easier tri TR, trial rating. So roll D20 plus five. Oh. <laughs> seven okay seven um yeah you're thinking oh man so either it takes all night or you're going to use up a, a couple i'll say two of your your low-tech scrap to to do it you can either choose to use the two or you can take all night to fix it like and you're this is the morning by the way or so it's going to go into the night so this is the morning do you want to miss the whole day going on or do you oh, want to because, use no we we need to use the scrap because if we just stand idle on day one it's not going to be good for morale we got to keep moving we got to use the scrap well, also right. we'll make a pretty easy target being grounded like yeah. this I mean, you bring up a good point that's a great point all right you end up just throw, you know throwing off the hoses that you were trying to fix and putting on new ones and just ah, i gotta do it you know i gotta just use up this, this stuff um so Okay, so you guys are ready to go like in an hour or two. Anyone want to have a good meal, lunch, whatever? Anyone? No cooking skills? Oh well. No. Um, I would say I would say if one of you could just say a prayer over our. Well, Evie's next, busy, so it's going to be uh, you two. Uh, you two. Okay, well, Grace, uh, can you give me one of those Grace prayers then? <laughs> that, would, that would be awesome. Yeah, just say something right now. Cause we need to make sure that we're uh, we're going to the Lord. For his guidance on his journey this, this is going to be we just started out and already had so we need to make sure that we're that we're leaning on god first before we go to our own taxes if you could you're just right. say something right now that would be awesome you're right okay okay lord you are awesome and mighty god Lord, we know that you see what is happening and you know what we are trying to do for your kingdom, yes. Lord. Um, we pray that you would have your hand of protection and guidance over us, Lord, as we move forward. Um, pray that you would guide Evie um, in fixing whatever needs to be fixed with these hoses. Um, and thank you for giving us these rations so that we may go forth. Um, pray that these rations would sustain us for another day. Uh, thank you for the blessing of being able to do your kingdom work. In Jesus name. Amen. Oh, Amen. Okay. And, and that was awesome. Yeah, we were, we're ready to roll now. I think that was that, that, <laughs> that's perfect. All right. That's I'm going to give, perfect. I'm going to give each of you a D4 and EB, if you want, you can use it on that previous roll or you can keep it for later. A D4 bonus. Use it. Use it. Use it. Okay, roll. Roll a D4.
twos, nine. Okay, well, I'm going to take off one scrap. So you only need to use one, not two. Okay. Yeah. So you still have yeah, three left. Okay. Um, Major, you you got to you got to get this thing out of the pothole. It's leaning. You got to drive this. It's a little tricky. She's got it. You know, she's giving you the thumbs up. She's got the hoses on. Got the, you know, maybe the fender back on. Um, but you got to get this thing out out of that pothole you you crashed it into, or sunk it into. So you're gonna do another roll. Do you want to use your D4 on that? Your bonus, or do you want to? Yeah, I'll use the D4 on it. Okay. And you can decide to use it after your roll, so you don't have to roll. Um, use it right now. So that's the okay. So if I use, it, I'm saying that's D4 plus which die? Is that twenty? Yeah, the D20. You're driving, which is gonna okay, be okay. Let's roll your awareness. Let's roll. Let's roll. Roll it. Where, plus three. See what we got here. All right, all right, Doc, get back on the bus. I don't want to hit you, man. You got to get on here. <laughs> oh, you said Doc? <laughs> yeah, because she's a doc. She fixes things. Yeah. <laughs> doc, Dr. Evie. Dr. Evie. I just called on Doc for short. I'm sorry. I, I oh, we got some big names. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got it fixed. It's, I mean, I, I think it's pretty much good as new. All right, roll that drive. D20 plus three. Oh, no. You're, you know, it, you're, you're stuck in that pothole. Uh, you guys are going to have to just figure out what to do. Let me know. I'll, I'll give you another roll when, when it sounds to me like you get to do another roll. What do you all do? He's, he's leaning. His will is maybe just hitting air. Maybe it's like, you know, bottomed out. Maybe the pothole is actually more of like a, 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 a sinkhole type of thing. The rock that he avoided hitting and went into the pothole, we probably need to roll underneath the wheel and try to get some traction. What do you guys think? If we can move it. I, that That's a perfect solution. Do you see in, in the scrap in the scrap we have back here in the back? Do you see anything we can plug under that wheel? Yeah, let's go back. Oh, you guys can go to your rules. I think you can click on the rules yourself and look at what you have in the truck. Yeah, right. Let's see if we can get something we can plug under that wheel. We can plug something under that wheel. We can get out of here. What? So, what would that be under to see that? Um, are you? Did you move over to the rules tab on the top? The, or it's called the map actually, but the um up here. Rules, rules. I don't see. Oops. Oh, okay. No, oh, I, I did that wrong. Um, up at the top, you see rules and exploring the new world, right? Okay, I see rules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can, you can yourselves click on rules and go to that page. Okay, got it. And you can see what what gear, you know, you have anything that can help you. I mean, I'll, I'll send these to you so you can print them out at some point. But uh, yeah. I just wanted to keep it secret until for the for the reveal. But Who's not looking? Matthew's. I mean, honestly, of course, Matthew's looks... not looking. You two are though. Good. <laughs> Major's not looks... looking. We're... Sorry, go ahead. Our best. Where is the? Where, Hold on. Where is Hold that, on. Grace uh... was saying something. What? I was just saying it. It looks like that rock might be our best bet. We don't want to shove any of our gear under there. Probably better to put the rock there. Or use one of your your gear. Can we use the axe to work as like a? Uh lever um some type of leverage to get it over in there because it's just so heavy like, i don't know we don't have a crowbar you know or something like um, that you, I, you know what you should have crowbars so that's a i think you have a you know you have basic tools like that crowbars okay. mach machine tools are here and here by the way are you do have these like the machine tools um <laughs> radiation suit medical kit so you do have these basics here i would think a Let's crowbar yeah anything yeah, well, like we'll common like that yeah i would definitely think you'd have we got a we got a piece oh, of sorry. wood. I mean a two by four work. A couple two by fours. I know we got some wood back there. Yeah, you can yeah. Okay, so you guys get some wood, you get uh or and the crowbar, you know, whatever kind of leverage, maybe maybe even have one of those those bigger bars. But that's fine. That sounds reasonable to me. Um so you guys try to get that over there to lift up this rock. Okay, so the rock, or at least I would you know, there's more than one rock. So you guys can find the rock a big enough rock that you could probably um move over there. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys do a, um, a an interesting role to do it. Um, 
so who's got the best aggression is Matthew and then you guys are helping him but you're gonna use a, um, some sort of crowbar and boards so that's a d4 then a d6 um, you guys are helping him so I'll give it a d8 so Matthew or major you're gonna try to move a rock underneath there now to give your wheel okay. some traction I guess or something so roll yeah, your aggression great. plus d8 and you need to be to 12 so your so aggression is plus six plus six and then the d8 yeah plus six d8 and d20 and you just need to be to 12 which i think you're gonna do but oh hope. okay so d oh but it'd be cool if you roll an at one so, <laughs> so, <laughs> for entertainment purposes so, so you say d8 plus d20 and then plus six for the aggression correct to All right, move that see. rock Underneath. This rock is going up out. It's, it's moving up out of here. Ladies, we're all going to roll. Let's roll. Let's see what we got here. We're out, we're out of here. We're on our way. Oh, we well, forgot. Okay, plus we're six. So you you're got 16. So you're good. Yeah. All right. You, yeah, we you made get that it. over there. Great idea. Um, awesome. All right. Roll again. No, no you're not out yet. <laughs> you still got to roll the drive. So, so you got the rock underneath there. Same drive. Uh, what did I say? Four, I said 14 last time. Yeah. We'll do 12. We'll do 12. Roll a 12 drive, which is your awareness, plus three. But so the, a 12 uh, plus aware, aggression? I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, D20. Yeah, D20 plus three. Roll that. And you need to beat a 12. Okay. All right, D20. And let's see what we get. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's get up okay. out of here. All right. You guys are off. Um, it's lunchtime. And you guys are sweaty. Yeah, right. you're sweaty. Ah, um, great job, great job. Good job, guys. You, the air's coming in, Major, finally again as you're driving. You're cooling ah. off. Because remember, you were doing the rock, and they were Ooh. helping you, but you were doing the whole roll, roll, leverage, roll, leverage, roll, and getting that thing over there to to, to, to get it in the sinkhole. Okay. Um, anyone? No, so no one has any uh, incredible cooking skills. Uh, no one has made a refrigerator yet to make ice. So... Um, at least not for you guys. I mean, at the bunker that I guess they may they probably have something like that. But not not in, not here in this little in your little surveyor one. Okay. You guys are moving along. Uh what oh this is activating. I just gotta move to it. Okay, so I'm moving back. I'm moving back to the exploring the new world. Um but you guys can either one, it's the same. So you guys are traveling now. Into the wasteland. It's getting, it's interesting. It's getting, I don't know, more arid, more hot, maybe warmer. Suddenly you feel a gust of warm wind, which you may have never experienced before. <laughs> you know, like, because you're always in the mountains and cool air and, and all that. But you feel like a drier se sensation. And you guys are, okay, where are you situated now? Is, is it the same as before? But Can we with, take a yes. five minute break? Because my computer's about to die. I got to go plug it in. Okay. Right well, yeah, we're <laughs> almost done, but, um, but go ahead. I'll, I'll pause it. Yeah, just plug it into the bus. Uh, all right, so you guys have come out of the mountains. You have experienced a traumatic thing. <laughs> Thankfully, not something like ants or something, but a traumatic crash. I mean, you almost thought Grace died. You know, you, you came out. There was a split moment there. The way she was looking mangled in the grass there, you know, didn't look didn't look right. But thankfully, she <laughs> didn't woke up out of it. Um, you. You repaired the truck, and Matt, you major, you dealt with horrible driving, but you persevered, got the rock in, and started driving off. And you guys, literally, as you're yeah. as you're coming out of this mountain range, you're feeling this: is it freedom? Is it hope? Is it dread? But it's the world is opening up, right? And before you is this sort of desert, but it's also kind of alien in the sense of the weird structures and things that are off in the distance. Okay, where are you all situated in the uh, in the surveyor? Like as before, where, describe your what you where you're at and what you're doing. Major just, still driving. Mm -hmm. I'm clinging up top, just looking around and still shouting down below things to avoid, things that have fallen into the road, things on the side of the road that we should probably just watch as we pass. And I appreciate you. You got your seatbelt on this time up there. Yes, I do. I, I made Secure. extra sure that okay. that thing was. Yeah, clear. awesome. Okay. And I am looking over Major's shoulder 
as a second set of eyes. Okay. I um, wish you would stop doing that. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, but while you're there though, hey doc, I, I had this nagging neck pain for like 20 years. Can you, you think you could uh, do something to help me out there? You know, I have a pain in the neck too. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's actually really good. All righty. All right. I'm going to end it with this. As you guys are actually with it, with, I want you to do, um, Grace, I want you to do an awareness roll up above because you got the, like a bird's eye view or not bird, but you know, a high view as you're surveying the land from your surveyor one. So roll in. You, oh, so I'm going to give you a D4. Now, if you want to add your prayer bonus to it, you can, or you can, or you can just save that um, for later or keep it. What do you want to do? Use it or lose I'll it? I'll add or, it. Why not? Okay, so D6. So D20 plus a D6 plus your awareness, which I gave you, is a 2 plus 2. Okay, 16. Perfect. You are now, I'm going to... I'm going to come to you in a sec. Uh, same with uh, Major and EB. You guys, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and roll your awareness too from the from the, the cracked, probably chain link fence type of window of the bus, you know, or truck or whatever. I um, mean, you're staring out through that, and I'm sure there's holes and hot air coming through. But you all are obviously looking out on that 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 plane of of arid flatlands to see what's up ahead. So both of you also roll an awareness roll. Uh, for Major, you get a plus three. And for EB, you get a plus one. And What's then what die is that? 20, D twenty. Always 20 a D twenty, yeah, for skills or. Oh, D twenty. Okay. D twenty. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay, EB, you're just a, you know, your pain in the neck. Both of you are dealing with your pains in the necks, so whatever um, that situation is. Okay, so Grace, as we fade out here, you see off you're looking and you're thinking you're seeing out there you know the road is dry you know uh, dry desert cracked um um there's gullies there's there's uh, rubble the road is some of it's you know weathered away for sure but off in the distance you see these towers and they look strange and different they don't look like the Ooh. terrain at all but these mounds wow. these giant mounds and and none, now you don't, you guys don't see it. You guys are just arguing, you know, rolling eyes at each other and stuff. Only Grace sees this. And there's these towers, and you feel like thing. Maybe you saw something move around one of them, um, or near hey, it. Hey guys, there, there's some towers up ahead. Um, well, they're they're quite a ways, but yeah, they're up ahead. There's some towers way in the distance, right in front of us. Um, there's something I think moving around them they're like, it doesn't look natural yeah they're like earth mounds to you guys you don't you just think they're just earth mounds rocks or whatever and that's where we're gonna fade out this this episode okay all right um so i'm gonna give you each a glory point for your your the first time ever coming out your experience here <laughs> experiencing something violent <laughs> grace going ah! Uh, fixing, you get to fix something and some physical okay. exertion. All right. So one glory, you each get one glory point. We'll go back to the rules page here. And down, oh, I don't have it on here. Darn it. I can't believe this. I didn't give this to you. Um, I think I can pull it up. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I can pull it up. Sorry about that. Uh, did I put the rules in here? Okay, where is it? Where is it? It's here. Let's find the right page. Where are you? I don't see it. Let me, but I got, I got it open here. So I will, what page is it? Page 19. Do I have 19? Oh my gosh, I got 18. Okay, let me, uh, let me, I'm just going to, I'm going to copy paste it so you guys can see it. Journal entry, glory points. And this is, you can spend this on, you know, in, uh, upgrading anything um, that you want to upgrade. Like one point can go to adding a tr another trait. And 
All right. Can you see all those? Yes. Yes. So trait plus one, aggression to damage may add plus one um, of your aggression to your weapon damage, the melee. Adding a skill. Yeah, it's, it's not formatted, obviously. I just cut and pasted. You know, you can add a skill. Oh, did it, it didn't, did it close for any of you? No, I think it's still open. It again. Yeah. It's you still can open for me. It's in the corner, but it should still be open for. Yeah. I'm going to try to, let me see if it'll do it. I'm going to try to, um, but you guys can read them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how many of the, so the glory points, we can pick any one of these. Is that correct? Anyone. And, um, I'm just I'll trying. Do it in a second. Can I leave for a second? I got to take care of something. Okay. Yeah. Because we're doing one by one anyway. So, so you can do faith a stamina points. upgrade. You can, sorry, go ahead. I'd like to do faith points. Oh, add more faith points. Okay. But you don't have any miracle blessings right now. So, so I need those before I can add faith points. Right. And you should role play that. Like I want to, so like for instance, Grace does have some blessings. She has preach and bless, which I, I kind of forgot to tell her, but um, because she told, she said she was more, you know, her faith and her and approaching people, so she wants to go preach and uh, evangelize. Yeah. So if you want to learn from her how to preach or or, or bless others, then, uh -huh. then I then you can take those faith points if you want. But right now you don't have that skill, that's but you it. can but you can you can certainly grow that skill. So that's fine by me. I'm just letting you know. Um, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna, so see how I kind of highlighted or put in bold um, these, so you can see them easier? Some of them anyway. Uh, let's see if I need to change. You can also do this. Uh, repair truck or, you know, skill. Uh, drive skill. You can say, I want to get drive skill. You can do cook skill. I want to get a cook. You can pick up any skill that you think you might want to have, you know, that you, and try to be a little specific, not like engineering skill. It's more like drive repair truck, like you're getting used to the truck. So you can know how to repair it. So it's more of a specific skill. Okay. You can come up with anything as well there. I want to give better driving skill to major. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. We survived, didn't we? <laughs> we did. <laughs> Um, well, with the collective effort, you know, with the collective effort. So yeah, what do you guys want to do? What do you want to upgrade? You want to you do you do want to do the faith points? I, I would like to go that direction. I think yeah. Okay, that's fine by me. Now so, my screen on glory points is now blank. Yeah, mine is also yeah. Oh, let me show it again. <clears throat> you see it? No. Or the portion that says Ready. adding a skill. You see it now? That's it. Now it's gone. Oh, I, okay. I see. I, I see it now. There now? No. No. Nope. It's, it's working. <laughs> now it's back. Okay. Yeah, it's back. There we go. There's a timer on there. Did it close on you? Or is it still there? It's, it's still open. Okay. There. Just let me know if it closes. So faith points, that's what you want. I'll write that down. If that's what you want. And then, yeah, so you need to, and, you know, I'll remind you, but you need to like talk to her about her faith and what, what you, you can do. Maybe, you know, you have a Bible study together. That's what helps you with your preaching skill or whatever uh, with, with gaining a blessing. And your spirit though, EB is one. So you only have one spirit, just so okay. you know, I give you one spirit. Cause you never mentioned it as a, in your, you know, in your background. Yeah. Um, as a, you know, like an evangelical thing. You just. Okay. Yeah. So what is, uh, what is the, my spirit on this? Your spirit is really bad. I don't think you have any. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm questioning wow, your what? faith. You have minus one. <laughs> minus one. Well, I'll take, I guess I'll take the faith points, you know? You said you were going to leave us. <laughs> Holy, I was just kidding around. I never leave a comrade. Not in the middle of action. Yeah, that's actually no, when I, I put minus done. one when he said, I'll leave him behind. <laughs> I'm like, okay, minus I was, one. That was a joke. I'm a jokester, too. That's my Well, dream. that's what happens when you joke, okay? <laughs> people people give you bad spirit traits. Um, so faith points are used. Oh, by the way, Grace, you have um, the 
miracles of blessing or the blessings of bless and um, preaching. So if you ever want to preach to some, you know, to other, to non-believers, you can use your spirit to give you bonuses to it. Okay. okay? And you also have, um, oh, maybe I should give her heal. Right? The miracle of heal. Would you want to have heal instead of bless? I mean, I'm going to give you three. Uh, actually, I, I'm supposed to give you three. You have heal, bless, and preach. And I'll, I'll give you a character sheet. Um, and it sounds like EB wants to learn how to be a missionary. You know, so she's getting some faith points. She bought faith points. Uh, Matthew, what are you getting? You can do. You can uh, do a take driving skill. Well, my driving skill is already like highly rated. <laughs> um, one of the best in the wasteland. So we're going to do. And my armor, that's what I do. That's what I do off the top, so I'm good on that. Oh, you want to improve your armor? Uh, my, well, I mean, I'm already good on it. I think, uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's do uh, faith points because I'm my spirit is a negative one, so i got to increase well, that. you can increase the spirit to one uh, to, to one if you want. Yeah. I'll or, or to zero. Yeah, I got I to gotta work, I gotta to work on that. Okay, so we'll yeah, add. We'll go to zero on. then. That's what you're spending I'd your faith so on. So, by the way, yeah, every, I'd be so dependent, you know. Every, every trait... You have six traits, and I, I spread them out, but I always give everybody a negative two and a negative one in something. So, you know, that's, so yours was spirit. So you're going to go to zero on spirit. That's your glory point, okay? All right, that's fine. Uh, you're going to have to do it Absolutely. anyway at some point. Okay, Grace, you have a one glory point. What do you think you're going to do with it? That's what I'm looking at here. So I'll, I'm going to give you suggestions. You can your, your spirit is four, and that's how many points you can use to, to, to preach, bless, or heal. Those are like your, you know, Faith points that you can spend. Okay. I gave you, I gave you four in society as well. Um, your stamina is really low. Yeah, you only have three. <laughs> oh, you know, yep. let me do major. Let's roll a d6 for your stamina. Okay. Just for your regular d6. stamina. So you, so uh, after flying and crashing into uh, down on the ground, Grace, you may, maybe that be might be a consideration. Increase your stamina. Yeah. Uh, that might so be roll, so roll a d6 roll a d6 for you yeah okay well i'm gonna have super stamina there uh, i'm gonna be tired not two okay so you it. have six plus your aggression is six twelve so you have 14 stamina okay. and evie you have a uh, roll of four d4 my evie? stamina is a 14 goodness gracious yeah i i wrote it down so i'll i'll i'll, I'll type these up and send them to you Oh, major. <laughs> or I can give you a blank and then you can fill it in, but I'll send you a copy with the actual numbers. I'll, I'll send you both. Um, so, yeah, Evie, can you roll a d4? That's working. Sorry, I have to keep looking at <laughs> what what things are. I haven't memorized the yeah. shapes yet, so I have to let it hover for a second. I like that yeah. you have the option. Two. Okay, so two, plus you have six, plus your aggression is one, so you have seven. Okay, you have seven normal. All right, so Grace, are we going with the stamina? That mean I'm just suggesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so roll a D4. Just just so you don't die. Yeah. That would be nice. One. Okay. <laughs> so now you have four. <laughs> and you okay. you generally get a glory point every session. I, I like to give one at the end of every session. You know, just, okay. Uh, so, and it, okay. So ends the first. What'd y'all think, huh? And that's cool. I enjoy it. <laughs> Was that exactly had... what you were expecting? No. <laughs> but that was really cool, though. I enjoyed that. Wow. Yeah. Yes. There's a whole world out there. I'm glad I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, I, can I... I ask you a question real quick, Doc? You <laughs> see on the front of Penelope here is, is seven guns, right? You think you can install some flamethrowers up there? That, that might make it more meaner. What do you think? Absolutely. Yeah, old, good old it's Penelope, man. Flamethrower. That, that'll, that'll be an evangelical tool, flamethrower. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, if you put that you up want, there, I think that... want to avoid the flames. Sure, the whole spirit <laughs> of the fire. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's I. I you know, I, I was thinking, you know, we do the the regular Dark Ages fantasy one, or or not fantasy. The dark ages of that i'm like i want to do a post-apocalyptic scary but fits into the christian yeah. 
you know, world sure and, does. And setting. And, and, uh -huh. and, I like um, it. Yeah. So when you, so when I first brought it up, when I was first bringing it up, sorry, I'm, I'm, would you, what was going through your minds when I first started with when Colonel Jenkins and Brother Jeremiah came in? What were you all? I was I was semi thinking post apocalyptic. I was thinking, you know, or, or something like that, you know. But you know, it's a lot of story lot around it. You can really come up with a lot of creative things. So that's pretty good. I, I really yeah, this this is fun. This is fun. Yeah. Makes me think of the Fallout franchise. <laughs> yep, yep, but that's right. Yep. You, you're right. <laughs> but you get I to hope be it's not true to life though you know, <laughs> at some point like um, we can't go back to the middle ages but we probably could have some post-apocalyptic scary stuff but. some say i'm a prophet i don't know we'll see oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> please no <laughs> all right sweating. with that good night thank you so much for coming on oh any what was our what's our thing anyone think keep of... your keep your roll on until <laughs> next time we roll on yeah <laughs> Uh, we'll work on that. We'll work That's on right. that. That's right. Keep your roll on. That's like, keep your roll on. <laughs> Not this we roll. roll on. Yeah. Yeah. Come up with something, guys. All right. Good night. Have a great night. <laughs> Thanks. Nice meeting you, Grace. Thank yeah, you. it's good to meet you good, guys. Good, good to see you, Evie. Good to see you, Evie. Good Ron. to see you, Matthew. Yes, Grace, I can't believe you're 21. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, you seem very wise beyond your years. I appreciate that. People, sure. I don't yeah. know. Can can I ask you why? Why you say that? Because I've had people say that to me, and I just don't understand why. You just have poise and articulation, and you are um, a very good engager with other people and communicator, and not like just into yourself. I don't know. That's Unlike me. First impression. <laughs> All right. Unlike Mr. Burton, a lot. Reason.